A Lambertville company is rapidly expanding its business, which is based on proprietary technology for harvesting electrical energy from mechanical vibration. Most of that expansion is taking place out of state, although research and development will still be based here. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The idea of replacing or recharging batteries with something that looks like gray spaghetti could sound pretty strange, but simple demonstrations, such as powering electronics by flexing a padded shoe insert, can make the potential plain to see. Advanced Ceremetrics forms fibers out of so-called piezoelectric materials, which can both generate electricity when they bend and change shape in the presence of an electric field. We dry this fiber and cut it to a uh, specified length. And at, um, once, once they're arranged on the plates like this, then we take them through a sintering process, which actually gives them their ceramic uh, characteristics. Just a few more steps, Chief Operating Officer Mike Hendricks explains, produce laminated composites with electrodes. And then uh, they're put together into a small energy harvesting uh, element, such as you see here, which is used in a variety of the devices that you saw today. The most successful commercial uses so far, taking advantage of the fiber's active shape-changing ability, have been to control vibrations in high-performance tennis rackets and skis. While the sporting goods portfolio keeps growing, CEO Bud Cass sees even more demand developing for green energy solutions in a variety of industrial, consumer, civil engineering, and military settings. There's always available energy to run a system. We're to the point where uh, the slightly more energy than a fly landing on your hand is enough to send a radio frequency transmission data burst about 100 meters. We've expanded our manufacturing to a new facility in Findlay, Ohio, uh, which we opened in October, uh, and we already have enough demand that we've had to triple the size of it and are in the process of doing that now. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Lambertville.